Good morning. I'm a little excited. I have a sinus headache, though, so it's kind of messing with my um, cognitive abilities at the moment. Ugh. Had to get tissue in case I sneeze. So I just put in an email to a uh, farm here in the Ozarks. Not really local. Um, they have two things that I would like. At least they did when I talked to her the other day. Just, okay. Sinuses, sorry. One is a bull. Uh, our cow, I dried her off hoping she was expecting. She wasn't. So I need to get her bread. And then two, she's dry. She's going to be dry for at least nine, ten months. Um, so uh, I asked about a spring heifer. Mother. Okay, so that was a few interruptions, but uh, I think I said she has some springing heifers, or did, when I talked to her the other day, and um, I'm hoping that she still has one available. We'll see. Um, they're all due September, and it's September. It's, yeah, so I'm hoping that they would be available and could be delivered next week. They offer delivery, and since we're both in the Ozarks, I'm assuming that she would go this far. But a little bit nervous, but because it's, one, it's a lot of money, and uh, I knew I'd have to buy a bolt this time, anyways. Even if she had calved, I would need to be getting her pregnant again anyway. So I knew that that I was going to have to do that at some point. Or at this point. But didn't really want to. And I knew that I always wanted to have two cows because... Um, well, like right now, we pick up six gallons of milk a couple days a week from a local farm. And uh, milk is always gone within 24 hours. And sometimes faster than that. And, um, I was going to say and again. And, 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 and. Um, I, that's time consuming. The farm is, I don't know, it takes well out, over an hour of our time to get there and back. And the milk is fantastic. The farmers are super fantastic. We love them. We love what we're getting from them. But, we're getting nowhere near what we can use and we're getting it's a sacrifice to just leave for that long in a direction we don't normally go um, we were going that direction also to buy eggs but then the farm that we were buying the eggs from you know chickens go through cycles and they were done so now we're only going that direction for milk and we go twice a week so, you know, but it's just better to have things on your farm and not have to chase things down and hope that you can get some and maybe you can, maybe you can't. So, I'll let you know <laughs> if uh, they're available, but I really hope they are. Okay, bye. So, um, I told you that I was talking to someone about a bull and a springing heifer. So, um... Sorry. Um, I have allergies and I keep getting surging headaches. Nothing is working for my allergies. It's driving me nuts. So, um, right, we're going to go, the plan is right now is we're going to get them. And we're just waiting for um, knowing when they can deliver. They're not too far away, so they're going to deliver them for a, a little charge. And uh, today, um, Patrick is has a neighbor's um, tractor here and he's going to brush hog so that we can move their electric fence a little bit more and get things ready for them. We also, because we never used a head gate for Ava, um, because we never used a head gate for Ava, we need to build a stanchion. Since she's a springing heifer that I didn't raise. I've never gotten a springing heifer from someone else. I just had um, fawn 
and we just trained her all along. You know, you go in the stanchion, we touch you, whatever. And it was just fine. Never had an issue with her. I'm a little bit nervous about getting one that has been um, raised by someone else. And they have quite a few cows, so I don't know if they mess with them a whole lot. So it makes me a little nervous. So we, we need to get a headlock built. I think she said she's due in about two weeks. Um, so I want to get that done, get her trained to come in every day, twice a day, and um, we'll just start our milking schedule, touching her and doing that sort of thing. But right now we're waiting on when works for them to deliver. Um, today didn't work for us because we have to change fencing and get some things done. And so the plan was tomorrow. Um, we will see. I hope it's still tomorrow, but also waiting is just fine. They're, next week they're too busy to deliver, I think, so... It'll either be tomorrow or in a little over a week. So, um, we are pretty excited. And, um, one thing, one reason that we are buying this cow is one, I've always wanted to have two dairy cows so we could have enough to deal, to have all of our own dairy. Two, Ava was not expecting. And so it's not ideal that I dried her off, but it is what it is. So we need the bull to breed her. And I'm hoping that Ava will come into heat real quick after he gets here so that there will be a gap in um, timing. But okay, the children... so I was going to give an update on the cow. Um, we were not able to get her on Friday because they were ended up being busy. And so she and... Hey, Azariah. Thomas. Thomas. I know you're excited about the spider, but can you wait just one minute? Be very quiet for one minute. Um, so they're going to come in this evening. We're getting a bull and a um, springing heifer. And they're both full jersey. They're both A2A2. And um, I am super excited. And I think I'm going to make some cow treats so that um, I can make her be my best friend. And um, when she comes tonight, Wisdom gets to name her. So, um, I'll have her Wisdom tell you what her name, name is. Her? Wisdom gets to name her. Can I name her? The bull's already named. I get a name. We're good. Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Don't go ahead of time, okay? okay. Um, step out of the way for a second. So, we will, um, video tonight when we get her, or them. I'm a little nervous about getting a cow, or a bull, but Ava needs bread, and this cow is going to need bread soon as well, and... For the price that we paid for him, we could self-butcher and still be ahead meat-wise, money-wise, you know. Um, so as long as I can get both of them bred, um, and we'll be careful. We just won't have children in the pen anymore, and we will block off the milking stanchion so that it's harder for him to get in there. Um, that's it, yep. So, you know... We're not fans of AI, and we've never had success with AI, so that's what we're going to do for now. I'm hoping that he's fine enough, and our cautions will be enough that we can keep him for this breeding season and next, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, but we are excited that we're going to be back in milk. Um, I talked to her today, and she said that her udder's filling out, so um, super excited about that. She should be due... Uh, within two weeks, I think. She had to look up the date again, so I might be able to update you on that tonight, too. So, uh, we're, right now, we're like, all these different cheeses we can make, and all these recipes, and like, we are counting our chickens before they're hatched, for real, right now. And, um, yeah, we're excited. <laughs> we'll see you tonight and show you what she looks like. Ava. Come on, Ava. Can you you know how to open this right here? It is. Oh. Yep. Pull that last job and swing that big. Right there. Ready?
Yeah, it's pretty narrow here, Mom. Eight foot cap. Where's 30 foot or separate? Um, well, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to keep separate if possible. Okay. Um, do you, where do you at, Mom? Okay. Um, I tell you what. Let me set it over here. Yes. Are it. you putting the bowl with, uh, with her? Okay. Yeah. If you want to hold her, him right there, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. turn him out, and then we can shut this up. All right. There's all three of them. Yeah. They're all tight. They're so happy. Half the little <gasps>